once you've extracted the power inverter board, just uh, put everything else aside. And uh, we're going to go around and we're going to desolder all these capacitors. Uh, right now, I've got my soldering iron heating up. I've got my kit here with uh, replacement capacitors. There's a little ring of solder they threw in. I've got a desoldering braid here. If you've got the pump, by all means use that. Uh, it's definitely preferable. Now that I've got all the new capacitors soldered on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back together just partially, just to see if it powers up and if I get anything on the screen. And uh, if everything works out, I'll put it all back together. If not, uh, I'll change the fuse and maybe do some other things. So you're going to have to line up all of these uh, connectors again. Now normally you wouldn't plug these in until you put the uh, RF shield on, but because I'm just going to test it out to see if it works, I will be connecting them. Uh, so I'm going to have to use my RF shield as kind of a guide here, because the marks I made were on the outside of it. So this one here was the black, this one here was a red. And I'll do the same thing on this edge. Black then red. Now, of course, I'll have to screw these back in place. All right, so I'm just going to go around and tighten up these screws here. Oops. All righty. 
now it's time to connect the power and the video cable and uh, see if we get anything on the display. All right, so I've got the power hooked up and I've got the video cable going to my laptop. So what I'm going to do now is just carefully tilt it up and I'm going to try and power it up. All right, since that looked like it worked perfectly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect these connectors here again. I've already disconnected the video and the power and I'm going to put the RF cage back on top of this and then I'm going to put the paneling on and uh, I'll get it all fired up and show you the result. All right, so I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna connect these screws, and then I'm gonna reconnect these connectors here. So I've already got the screws in position, you just need to tighten them up. Now I'm going to reconnect these connectors again. Once again, I'm going to pay attention to the, the markings I made. Uh, the one's marked with red, the other's marked with black. So just match those up, pop them into place. And I'll do the same with these two connectors here. There's my black one. There's my red one. There we go. Now don't forget there's two screws around the power connector here. You're going to want to put those back in. I almost forgot and started putting the uh, casing back on. There we go. Since I made quite the mess of the basil here, I'm just going to be taking my Dremel and I got a sanding wheel here and I'm just going to, at a very low RPM, I'm going to be touching this up just so it looks a little nicer. All right, still not perfect, but uh, it's definitely a lot better. I doubt you'll be able to see it on the camera there, but uh, it was all chewed up here. It's a lot smoother now and uh, just gives a, ni a nicer final result. Now that we've got that all nice and smooth, we're just going to take this back paneling here and we're just going to snap it back in place. It's much, much easier than it was to pry it off. And just go around and visually inspect the seams, make sure they're all snapped into place. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going, to, I'm going to put these three screws back in. So I've got one here, one here, and one here. All right, they're all in. All right, we're almost done here. We're just going to take the bottom piece, which is the stand. I'm going to line up this little hole with a plastic peg. 
that'll hold it in position for you. And then there's three screws that go around each peg, and then there's going to be another one off to the side. All right, not much left to do here. Just gonna take this plastic piece and then pop back in. Now we take this bottom stand here. And that'll pop right on too. Let's pull it off the edge here. You probably can't see this. That snaps right into place. And there we have it. It's all assembled. Time to fire it up and see if it works. All right. It's time to fire it up and see what happens. And we have video. So there you have it. That's how you fix the Acer AL 2017 monitor. I hope you enjoy.